All right, we're going to have three numbers on the thermometer <laughs> this afternoon, and that has not happened since June of last year. 100 is where we are going here in Denver. Notice in the Midwest, the numbers aren't quite as high today. Kansas City, 98, St. Louis, 96, 91 degrees for a high temperature today in Chicago. But those areas are under an excessive heat warning for today. All these areas shaded in purple, which is a big swath of the country here in the Midwest. So you say, well, why are they going to have the excessive heat warnings when they're actually not going to be quite as hot as we will be in Denver. And of course, it's because of the humidity. When you factor in the humidity, look at these oppressive numbers. 109 in St. Louis today, 108 in Kansas City, 109 in Tulsa. It's possible a few areas in southeast Colorado could be that hot with the actual air temperature. But of course, with the drier heat here, uh, it's not quite as dangerous as it is in the Midwest when you get those kinds of numbers. 99 degrees is the current record for today in Denver. That was set back in 1998. We have 100 in the forecast. So it's certainly possible we could set a new record this afternoon in Denver. But even if we hit 99, we'll tie it, obviously. There's that 108 today in Lamar, 105 in La Junta. We'll see 70s and 80s in the mountains today. Cloud cover, not much of it. We're going to have pretty much full sunshine from the western slope to the eastern plains. So completely dry weather today, tonight, and tomorrow. Unusually dry for this time of year. July, after all, is usually our hottest and stormiest month of the year. And even in the mountains, we won't see any storm activity. So we are concerned about the fire danger. Red flag warning from noon until 7 p.m. today. Mountains of Summit County north to Winter Park and into the Rocky Mountain National Park region. Some wind combined with very low humidity means if a fire were to start in the mountains today, it could spread very rapidly with these conditions. So two days in a row with temperatures right around the century mark and then on Saturday a summer cold front arrives we drop to 90 20 percent chance for a late day gusty thunderstorm the type that produces wind but not much rain and then a chance for some rain producing storms late on Sunday about a 40 percent chance as we drop all the way down to near 80 with that front